Epic intro music. Okay, so I am Lycan Pictus, and this is the mod for Crusader Kings 2, When the World Stopped Making Sense. Now, this is a very good mod. It's a Dark Ages mod, and basically, it allows me to play as the Eastern Roman Empire. Now, this is a sort of test recording because it is my first recording, so bear with me a little bit. I'm going to be playing as Strategist Stephanus of Accia. I think that's how you pronounce it, I have no idea really. But we are going to be trying to unite Greece and, well, the whole of the Eastern Roman Empire really. We're starting off with the southern tip of Greece and we're going to try and become King of Greece basically. And, you know, hopefully in turn become ruler of the Eastern Roman Empire, while the rest of the Roman Empire falls probably. And the other big factions in this playthrough are the Visigoths, the Sassanids, and Gupta, by the looks of it. Western Rome and Eastern Rome, obviously, but, uh, well, let's get this underway. Right, I'm going to leave that. Uh, I am going to leave the Aztec on random, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. I don't know if that will even function on the, um, on the mod. Right, welcome to the beta. Welcome to the beta of when the stop world stopped making sense. I keep screwing that up when I try and say that. Right, here we go. Right, let's try and get this stuff done quickly. Right, uh, get married. War. Now, we don't have very good traits at all. Deceitful, cynical, gluttonous. Now these are actually... Now the stats are actually randomised. I didn't know this. I found this out because I've had to start a new save recording. Which has been quite annoying to be perfectly honest. Every time there's an error with the recording I have to start again from scratch. And at this time the traits haven't given me a very good draw. But I'm still taking the war focus, so I'm sticking to sticking to the plan. Uh, I had a 10 learning skill before, and a much lower intrigue, but oh, uh, and I think the stewardship was higher too, because now that the men size 5 or 4. But there's always a good way to sort that out. Straight to the laws tab, realm and centralization. Now seems that in the mod the council don't even have to vote for it, you just pass it. Uh, okay. So, and the primogeniture seems to be the only one, so that's good. Um, well, statecraft, yes, because the vassals you both start with are of a different religion. I just need to, yeah, organise the army, because you start with full stuff. Get them collecting taxes in the capital of Hellas. Study technology can only send him off to Constantinople. Um, yeah, and that's good for now. Minor titles. Uh, I wonder if it changes all your courtiers and stuff. Yes, it does. So it's random. Even I didn't know that. So the stats are randomised of of everything, even your ruler. Every time you start a new game, didn't know that because. The stats have been different every time I've uh, restarted this one, just for test purposes. I've just kind of mucked up the recording. I didn't get further than the 10th of February in any of the recordings so far, so fingers crossed. Uh, designated region. I guess we'll go with this guy, because he's the only one with decent stats. Doesn't like me much, but he will do court physician, we don't really need to search for a physician because you're not going to get one that's like 21 uh, perceptive hmm. nah. master of the horse I'm just going to dish all of these out even though there's nothing that special, oh wait didn't just give it to him did it hi almana uh, might make this guy because he needs to like me a little bit more. Opinion, I just go for who hasn't got anything. 
Uh, give to this guy. Tutor. Now, um, not really a very good choice. It seems to be that this guy was here before, in a roughly similar stats. They seem some of the courtiers even seem to be new and random because I started some guy with twenty with twenty six learning on the last one, and my ruler had completely different traits. So I didn't know you could just restart the game until you start you wanted, but I've actually not done that because I've come out with a much worse traits than I had before. But this is the one that I'm going to be playing through on. Okay, technology. Don't need to sort that out. Leave that. Intrigue. Mm, right, you can do a few new things on this, which is quite nice. Um, I don't want to pick choose patron saint. Because some of the bonuses are good, but you lose 10% fertility, and well, that is not something we can afford at the moment. <laughs> Especially with this dynasty tree. The realm tree is quite interesting, um, because we have 36% of the total troop count. See, even that's gone down. It was 38% last time. This guy's has gone down too, though, by the looks of it. Somehow, both my liege and me have gone down in troops this time, since the last time I pressed play. It must randomise the stats of every ruler. Well, that's interesting to know, to say the least, but... Sorry for the slow start, though, we're just setting up. We probably don't want to join Lucifer's own, but... Who knows? See how this character develops. It's good for now. Oh, wait, yeah, we didn't think about maybe replacing this guy. Uh, ooh, that would be quite good. How old's this guy? 26. Yeah, we can't leave him there, can we? Yep, yeah, we're going to have to fire him. He's going to hate us, but we're doing statecraft because our vassals don't even like us. Let's have a look at this situation. Yep, minus 48 on both of them. So this is a much worse start than before. Oh well. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we've got everything sorted because we did the... Yeah, we've done the centralisation already. Um, yeah, we need to get the marriage sorted. There's only one date. There's only one suitable person at the moment. They're all terrible. I've tried searching the realm, there's like no one in the entire realm at the moment. Um, where is it? I do like to go Diplo range, yes. Join court, yes. Just to get a few extra good people in there. Oh my god. Look at that. Yeah, see what I mean? There's no one good. What about join court? No. Is there anyone? Okay. I've got a feeling this is where my 26 guy came from. Reckon he joined last time. Okay, so nobody's worth really getting at the moment. I'll search all. Yeah, that might help. Not bothered about them. Not really bothered about getting high intrigue people. Really? There's still no one really very good. He's okay, I suppose. This guy, 19 admin. Now that's all. That's, and he's 16. We could try. We could get this guy out. Yeah, let's let's invite him. He needs a bit of help. <laughs> right, okay. No heir, well that's expected. Title lost, title to be created. 
And to men's too big, well that's just about to be sorted. So we can advance time already. Uh, we don't really want to fabricate any claims yet because I'm pretty sure, unless it's changed since the last time, no. Yeah, it does really change it because even this guy looks different. I didn't know how randomised it all was. I mean, other than the name, that's the only thing that seems to stay together. Um, what about the Legion's stats? Roman nostalgia. See, he had that before, so maybe it's not totally the same house as well. So maybe it's not totally random, but let's get underway. Up to free speed. Good, good, good. The men's size is correct. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we've fulfilled our ambition already. Not bad. Um, you probably need money at this point. Prestige goes up pretty fast, although we could get the ambition for prestige out of the way, I suppose. Have a son. Now that's not that hard. All you gain is like 10 piety though. I uh, don't need to gain a title, war chest. I can do war chest. Command an army, but you don't get anything from it. Um, uh, the child will come first, won't it? Daughter, son. Well, let's gamble on a son. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the prestige for now, just to get a little base prestige coming. Let's see if we can get an uh, alliance with him. No, offer to join. We could offer to join his war already. How many troops has he got? This guy might he might be in trouble already. Might be the point of the mod. Okay, that's good. So we went with the right ambition there, because we got increased fertility with that. I wonder how many men they've got. Because if they begin this war already losing... Oh shit. I wonder what's this war for? For the Empire. So this guy's trying to take control of the entire Empire. That probably doesn't bode well. In your dream, you see a tall figure with a golden mask approach coming closer and closer and closer. And then you are suddenly awakened by your servant. Wake up, we're here. Are you okay? Wake up, stand up. There you go, you were dreaming. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea myself. Okay, that's not really any... What was that? Doesn't really affect us either way. You gain a piety, lose a prestige. That's nothing. He's no longer strategist, so has he died already? Which one was a strategist? Oh, that's all right. Oh, this guy's a loyalist. We'll put him in. Yeah, he might vote for me on the council. Okay, special minor title already. Have to redo the Master of the Horse. Don't really have any commanders. Throw him in. Oh, and he can actually be a commander too. Okay, keep going. Are they going to lose this war straight off? Have they set it up so you can't really stop them? I've only got like a couple of thousand troops, I think. I definitely couldn't stop that. What have they got? They got six. Oh, that's like a 10,000 stack. 
Uh, you might be able to stop this. It just depends if someone else, like the Sassanids or something, declare war on him too. But they seem to have their own problem. What's that blue nation? That's where Georgia normally is. Cartley. Is Rome already in trouble? It is, it seems to be. Don't know how they've got this mod set up, but this guy here seems to already be invading. No, don't need that. What's that up there? Is that rebelling against us too? Oh Christ! Let's just stop this for a sec, check these wars out. What is this? Um, peasant revolt for Dolish. And that is... No idea. And this is... A couple of peasant revolts. Some peasants have discovered the ruins of an old Roman temple while digging in the fields. Most of the temple is ruined beyond repair. The peasants discovered the statue of some pagan goddess. It's beautiful beyond description and lifelike. The statue looks like it could move at any moment. Destroy that heathen statue. Um, well, it doesn't really make a difference. I think we should try and build prestige up at the moment, so... I'll have the statue. You realise that to become a great fighter you need to get into better shape. Yes, we definitely need to. Let's go running. <laughs> See, now this game could be good for a narrative let's play. I was thinking about doing that. But I don't know, because there's not really any cutscenes or anything, so it'd have to be basically based off the random events that come up. Um. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right, let's go running. We're only a tough soldier at the moment, we need to get higher than that. Let's go running. Hey! Brave, brilliant. Personal combat skill is two. Oh well, that's nothing. So what's gone on there? Restoration of Zeno. Okay, so it's probably set up for that. Okay, Zeno is now once again the Emperor in Constantinople. Okay. So it was definitely set already for that to happen. I mean, you could probably stop it if I wasn't the ruler or something, but... Okay. Rome has fallen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the city of Rome has finally fallen to the onslaught of the Germanic invaders. The ancient city reduced to rubble. While this might not be the end of the Roman state, it will nearly be impossible to preserve its true integrity without the spiritual centre of the world. Today marks the end of 1,000 years of Roman domination across the uh, Western world. Lose 100 piety. Hmm. No option there. Okay, brilliant. So we're making money. So Western Rome is confined to here. Okay, so the mods are clearly set up to do that whatever. I'd started at this point to see if I could support the Western Roman Empire, but doesn't look like that's possible. Alright, well, let's go. Um, we just need to get our vassals to like us. These two. These two children in particular. Can we kill... Oh, we can kill him. I might do it, you know, because... Yeah, let, let's have a go. Let, let's risk it. We've got to make some progress. Right, intrigue. Auto invite. Who have we got? 
Oh, everyone wants to help us kill this kid. It's because he's a heretic. <laughs> right, let's see what else we can get. Uh, by plot power, 46% would be very useful. But I'm not sure the 46% will actually help us. I think it only increases every hundred. I think you know 100%. Then 200%, you have to get it above to be a higher chance. I'm not sure doing 150 would actually help the plot, but what can, what can we send him? Mm, 35 gold. That's not so bad. Let's risk it. Let's not do it. So it'd be good to put someone else in charge of these. Now which one are we trying to kill? I'm not even sure. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Was it gluttonous, the second deadly sin? So because we're gluttonous, we can show interest in Lucifer's own. Okay, so we're getting these dreams. So that doesn't really affect us at the moment. Whatever that's all about. Oh, why has this guy gone down to minus 58? Probably because we're trying to kill him, but... 56. I don't know why that is. We can try and get this kid before he goes to adulthood. Yeah, he's the one that owns the islands. Then we can give it to a vassal we trust. Because these are Hellenic. So what I want to do is kind of sort out my own realm first before trying to take on this guy. Although it might be wise to jump in now. He just raised his arm. Apostate found, okay. Magister Militum. Uh, he is our Magister Militum. Where is he? Is that one of these? Priest of... No, I don't think it's one of them. Who is it? Powerful voice. Okay, we might have to burn him. <laughs> uh, in the dungeon. Might as well just burn him. <laughs> Love, lovely sound effects there. Lovely sound effects. Let everyone know about my plot. Oh, wow, you drunk. He's, okay, so he's blabbed about my plot to kill this kid. Uh, reputation is ruined. Okay, let's see what that's done to us. Let's see what that's done to us. Does everybody hate us now? What about... Uh, this random guy. No? We don't seem to have many negative... So nobody seems to care. Okay, so maybe... Uh, no Christian seems to care about this. I mean, they, they all say I'm a foreigner, but nobody seems to say murderer. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's Oh, might as well just keep trying to kill him then. If nobody seems to care that we tried to kill him. Right, let's go. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, light foot, heavy foot, mounted warriors. Now... I think I'm going to go for my light infantry, yeah. 394, okay. Maybe do an upgrade in the capital? Yeah, upgrade the keep. Uh, 
Might go for another city holding here. Might save up for that. Don't really need to do any of this though. Just need a kid, really. Okay, so... Who's this guy? Victor of Legio III, Herculea. Well, let's go. I don't really think this guy's going to try to assassinate me or anything. What's all this? Okay, my co-conspirator, Bishop Artemoi, Art, Artemius, has bribed a hunter, taking Legatus Nicoteles on a trip to the wilds to quietly dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. They call it the wilds for a reason. Yes, they do. Come on. Don't fuck it up again. You've already been revealed as a murderer. Ooh, we can even keep one of these demens. We've gone up to a six... Nice. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Success. The hunter did not he was paid for and made sure Legatus Nicotilles never returned from the hunting trip. He'll keep quiet about his ghastly deeds to save his own skin if nothing else. To hunt a man truly is the greatest sport. Right, okay. So now we own all this. We'll get rid of this one. Uh, Naxus. So we want to grant Naxus to a loyal person. Um, look in the court, maybe. Opinion. Who likes me a lot already? Maybe he has some. Na um, he's the right. What is he? Marsh. Oh, he's my marshal. He's not great, is he though, marshal? He's already one of my vassals, so we'll have a look in the court. Don't make him too powerful. Another steward. This guy doesn't seem too powerful, and he doesn't have a wife or children or anything, so... Um, when he dies, the title will come straight back to me anyway. Um, uh, yeah, let's just grant him Naxos, was it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's now my vassal. I didn't really think that through, because we'll have to probably put him on the council now, but... That's okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, he wants to be on the council now. Did not think of that. Oh well. Um, what is it? do you still like us or not? 57. Ah, so he'll pretty much be a loyalist if we put him on the council, so that's not so bad. Here we go. Yeah, so we're going to have to replace this guy. Oh, fuck, wrong place. <laughs> this lucky we don't really need to organise the army or train any troops. Is that going to lower our military or not? Right, let's hope. Right, let's carry on for a little bit. We're going to have to leave him there now. I don't want to get the negative multiplier for that. For like firing tons of people. We'll just let him do that job. Here we go. The party's about to begin. Let's get it started. Oh yes, so we've become best friends with this guy. He seems like a... What has he got? His title is Legio Free... Uh, I don't even know what that is. That's like the third legion of the army or something? Where is it? 
I don't even know what that title is. Well, that was fun. We gained a friend. Now we just need a son, and oh, what's this? He's declared war on the Roman Gassanid revolt. De jure war over... Madaba? Okay, so we're fighting them. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll let them do that. Yes, my throwing arm will amaze everybody in this competition. Of course it will. We practice running in the right. No one, man yes, it is a glorious day. I have won the competition. Yes, we have gained brawny. We have become one of the toughest people around. Okay, so this guy's starting to look a lot better than he first was. Okay, and the wife is pregnant. Now this is a perfect time to finish the first episode, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, and remember you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links in the description below.